Welcome to the Dr. Friday Show. I'm Dr. Friday, this is my mate Hercules, and today we've got a great show lined up for you. We're gonna go some breaking news and do some comparisons with other countries. We're also gonna go see a client that's got a great game going when it comes to the game of business. Also, we're gonna go to the kitchen, we're gonna do some tax talk. Don't forget, you have to have your pen and paper for tax class, and we're gonna visit some kids that are entrepreneurs. So, keep watching, this is the Dr. Friday Show. Breaking news. I'm Dr. Friday and this is breaking news. Today we're talking about taxation. Are taxes too high? Do you feel like you're paying too much in taxes? Most Americans would say yes. In fact, many Europeans would say yes. Did you realize that places like Greece have very similar tax codes? In fact, some would say they're paying a lot more than we are. Let's just take a look at some of the similarities. If you're an employee, you're going to have taxes come out. The first 12,000 euros is what they basically calculated in. The first 12,000, zero tax. What is it in the United States? First 9,500, what? Zero tax. Okay, there's some similarity there. So the next 12,000 to 30,000 euros, they're gonna pay 27%. In our case, that same dollars is going to be somewhere in the ballpark of about 15%. Are you still thinking you're paying too much in taxes? How about up to 40% straight across the board? You know in Greece, they don't have to file taxes. Employees don't file taxes. They just basically have to pay straight off the top a percentage of their income. Here, what do we have? Thousands of pages of tax deduction. And still yet, because when I say 15%, is that straight off the top? I mean, if you get a W-2 and you're gonna pay what, 15% if you're making less than 60,000 in the United States? Not, that's not the case at all. We have what's called adjusted gross income. That's after itemization, that's after exemptions, that's after a lot of different credits, right? So you have a lot of things that come in before you even get to your percentage of taxation. People making closer to $100,000 after all their itemization and exemptions, they can be very likely paying 15% taxation. So think about how our taxes compare to many other countries and then have to say to yourself, are you paying too much in taxes? I don't think so. I think we do need to revisit the tax code because we don't want to be like Greece. We don't want to be almost belly up. We want this country solid, and the only way we can do that is to know where our money is. And if we're not paying enough, then let's cut spending and reduce all these overheads so we can actually have enough money. It's not that hard, we do it every day in our households. So if you wanna know more or you've got a question for the breaking news desk, send it over to www.drfriday.com, click on Ask Dr. Friday, and I will get you the answer. And also, if you've got to know more about these things, just go again to www.drfriday.com, download our free newsletter, and it's gonna keep you informed. This has been Fabby. Cop you later. Now let's go to a client that's winning at the game of business. I think if you've got a good idea, it's really important to be focused and not to let you know, negative people put you off. The piece of advice I give to someone about to start up is go for it. I do, I'm a great believer in people being brave enough to start new businesses and to really learn from that process. I know a lot of young people who've tried to start businesses and failed, but the amount they learned from it was terrific. And lo and behold, second time round, it looks like they'll succeed. So I think the biggest advice to anyone is really think about it, really work at it, and then be brave. Do something you feel passionate about, because if you feel passionate about it, you'll understand it, and you'll understand the rhythm of it, and you'll know whether it's good or bad. A lot of people come off the rails because they think that something's a good business idea, but it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually motivate them as an idea except for the making of money. The, the, I have seen more failures through people being obsessed by the making of money than anything else. I've seen more successes with people passionate about an idea than anything else. Don't go into business unless you really absolutely love it to bits and are prepared to spend many, many years getting to grips with it. 
So love it. Secondly, be unbelievably honest about what's good and bad about your execution of that business. Be really, really honest. Don't blame other people, don't blame the market, don't blame the weather, don't blame anything. Just blame yourself and get to grips with it. And thirdly, have the tenacity to keep trying when it doesn't work. Go and ask people advice. People love giving you advice. It's unbelievable the number of chief executives, famous people, celebrities, you know, people you'd think were incredibly difficult, where if you ring them up and say, I'd like to ask your advice, you know, so people go, yeah, okay. So um, I'm a real believer in listening. I talk a bit myself as well, but I'm a real believer in listening and just to soak it all in. But the, the question I never ask anybody ever is, should I do it? Because if they knew the answer, they'd be out there doing it themselves. So listen, 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 and know that there's a filter system, but some of the stuff coming in, you know, some of the, especially the fear-based stuff, it can never work, you know, it's their stuff. You know, it goes straight past, some goes in the waste paper basket, but you learn more from crit. Somebody comes up to me and says, I had a really bad experience in Yo Sushi, which doesn't happen that often, but if that ever does happen, um, I, um, I learn far more from that, far more than people coming up and saying, great concept, really, really good. Um, I think if you think of starting a business, just follow a few steps, which is do your market research, convince yourself it's going to work, raise money, implement your idea, and persist. So I've written a book called Anyone Could Do It, and in that there are all the sort of steps about how to start a business. You can get that nowadays. There are a lot of resources showing people how to start a business. So if you follow those steps, you're sort of okay, as long as you add that bit of hard work and persistence in there. Hi, great people. It's very hard to build a scalable business on your own. And when you're looking for those great people, look for people with different skill sets to yours, different ideas to yours. Otherwise, if you hire people who are just like you, your business is two-dimensional. Don't be surprised if you, it's not going to work straight away. You've got to have the tenacity, the courage and so on to probably go to hell and back before your idea will work because nothing's easy and certainly in business it certainly isn't. Dr. Friday, tax and financial firm. That's me. And that's who you want to call if you want someone to help you with your finances, help you with your taxes, and we're also the home of the $100 a month QuickBooks accounting package. What does that mean? It means I'm certified in QuickBooks. That also means I know how to make that software work for you and I can save you up to 50% on your accounting services. Why? Because A, we're a family firm. We know what it takes to make money and we're going to help you save it. We also know how to deal with small business. We know how to keep the internal revenue service off your back. This is all about helping you be out there and work harder and let us help save you money. So if you've got questions on taxes or accounting, give Dr. Friday Tax and Financial Firm a call at 615-367-0819 or check us out on the web at www.drfriday.com. We're going to be right back with the Dr. Friday Show.